Hello everyone and welcome back to the series where I talk about some trivia on the Japanese culture or language and some nuances that were lost in the translation from the Japanese audio to the English subtitles of the episode of an anime, in this case for the 11th episode of Chainsaw Man. When the devil is saying that Aki has a really shitty attitude because he didn't go along with it, a really interesting expression was used, Kako Sayaku to describe the worst ever attitude. The interesting part is that a more literal approach would be past and the worst, to convey the meaning of the worst ever recorded thing. And this expression contrasts very well with the catchphrase of the devil, Mirai Psycho, future the best. Just a little observation that I made, but the devil having six eyes might be a reference to the six senses organs, Local. That could reinforce the idea in my video on the previous episode, with the room number being 108, that links to the 108 worldly desires of the Buddhist religion. In some sums, when the future devil talks about the way Aki is going to die, it says that it will f***ing rule. This translation could be interpreted in a bunch of different ways, by different peoples, but it can give the impression of a grandiose or heroic death. In the original line in Japanese, it's a lot closer to it being the worst way to die. Sayakuna Shinkata. I didn't comment on this in episode 9 with Kobini, but since Kishibe also used the same word in this episode, I thought that I should at least mention that they both use the term high to probably talk about a state of mind when you lose yourself in combat. This one I just felt that it was a bit of a clunky line in the translation, but it could be just me. When Kishibe tells Denji in power that they will now try some live combat, power then responds with what manner of combat? What she said was repeating the same word that Kishibe said, Jisen, which can be interpreted as live combat, like in the previous line, or something like a real fight. I'm pretty sure that I saw it also being used in English in American movies and TV shows, but when Denji is talking about getting a ticket to hooking up with Makima, he uses a French loan word, rendezvous, which in French pretty much just means a meeting between peoples or an appointment. It's also used when talking about a romantic date with someone, rendezvous gala. The place where Kishibe and Makima are having their talk has an emblem in front of it, with one of the most complex and difficult to learn kanji, Ichi. It's the kanji for one, probably meaning that they are at a building that belongs to the first special division. Some terminology was used that points even more to the Yakuza. When talking about the boss, one of the henchmen used Kumicho, which is a term pretty much associated to the Yakuza, since their different groups or family are often viewed as different associations, Kumi, and the Cho is added to talk about the title or the group leader. And when talking to the sideburns men, they address him as Waka, and it's often used as a way to address the child and possible heir of an important figure inside your group or organization. You can also often see it used by butlers or maids when talking to the child of a rich or prestigious family. It's really not that important, but I was just a bit curious as to why they decided to not mention it in the subs. When it's mentioned that they escorted the bus, it is explicitly said that it was to a villa, Besso, which I think makes it a little bit more obvious right away that where Makima currently is, is with the boss of the same group. This has no impact on the story, but Kurose and Tendo are talking in a Kansai dialect, which fits with them being from Kyoto. And something interesting is that they have a completely different word for goosebumps, which is usually Orihada, literally burn skin, in standard Japanese. In the Kansai dialect, and said by Kurose in the Simpson, it's Sabuibo, which comes from cold and word. For anyone that was wondering what the Yakuza boss meant by saying to bring the good stuff to their guest Makima, it was Takaicha, 
expensive or quality tea. For a bit of perspective, 20,000 yen is about 175 US dollars when also taking the inflation from the 90s into consideration. The term used for the Soviets was Solen, which is an abbreviation from Sovieto Lenpo, Soviet Union. In this episode, we got the name of the teacher, Kishibe, which is also the word for shore, beach, and vicinity. When Kishibe talks about humanoid devils tending to be friendly but will still kill you for looking at them funny, he used Kanchaku and could be interpreted as having a fit of anger. For anyone that didn't know, the number 4 is often viewed as a bad omen in Japanese culture. It comes from the fact that the number can also be said as shi, which is the same pronunciation as the word for death, shi. It's also interesting to know that our gang is in the fourth special division. That's all for this episode. If you want more content like this, you know what to do. Like the video to let me and YouTube know if you want more of those type of videos. Comment about the things that you found the most interesting or surprising. And of course, subscribe if you want to have more chancing when I upload more stuff. Anyway, it's the end of this video, and I'll see you next week.